Okay, uh, that was a uh, customer here at the shop uh, calling. Uh, it's Christmas, uh, near Christmas. This is the uh, thing that I just wanted to mention is if you bring something here, uh, make sure it's not dripping, leaking oil all over the place. I try to keep my shop like a doctor's office, but even the doctor's office gets a little mess. We got uh, some nails over there. We got some different things from uh, different stuff we took apart, uh, different projects, uh, stuff that got delivered, crates. These are the engines that are your nightmare or the engines that come from eBay and various suppliers and especially this this center plug is the uh, sign of an emissions engine and I want you to take a look, good look at that head that head actually will work with regular gas I tend to use the 93 octane uh, the engines do not develop a lot of uh, how could I say mid-range power they have a lot of low low-end power and I don't know what the head design did. When we engineered the heads, we copied something from a Yakima motor. Uh, they actually made engines for snowmobiles back in the 70s. They were a non-emissions head. And uh, you really uh, have to figure out the engineering and stuff, what you see. Um, uh, there's nothing I can tell you on, an, on an, a video about it. You really have to look and not guess. Um, this is, there's no guesswork involved in this, what makes these work and what makes these run. A high definition head with a little higher dome, sometimes you can actually lose or, or leach your compression. If you, put the, if you put the head center up closer to the piston to get a little more compression, it's not necessarily the answer either because you can develop too much compression. So there's a happy medium with the bowl and the dishing of the head. And I just happened to luck out, and I, I have a lot of years in racing, and the people around me do, which, I, like I said, I really have to give uh, thanks to some of the shops that work with us. So without boring you any further with just standing here looking at the bicycle, in a couple of hours I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to show you uh, exactly why the Harley B is the king of the, the bikes. And nothing makes me angrier than a hornet than when people drag stuff here and it's leaking all over. Uh, I don't know, uh, it's a sign of the times or whatever, but he's a friend of mine, and I guess uh, he figures I'm not going to bark at him, but uh, as you can see, the condition of the bike, consider that. I have it half dissected in a couple hours. We should have ourselves something. Right now, I have to tend to a customer and run to the store.